My special guest today is Lisa Gottlieb. Lisa Gottlieb is known as the e-commerce queen of Denmark, and she's also the creator of Power Ecom Formula. As a marketing expert, entrepreneur, best-selling author, speaker, and coach, Lisa shares her proven strategies with self-motivated, disciplined, hardworking people to help them attain a holistic lifestyle that includes personal and financial independence. Lisa's 43 books, over 300 articles, business coaching, and health and diet products stem from her true life story. After successful sales careers at Oracle and Deloitte Touche, she developed a thyroid disease, which inspired her to write a self-help book on the topic to help others facing health challenges. Her latest works include PowerEcomFormula.com, AwesomePaleoDiet.com, and you can find her at LisaGottlieb.com. Welcome, Lisa. It's so great to have you here. Thank you very much, Heather. So what about the brick and mortar? Because we talked about the online businesses yeah. using Facebook ads and having their shop. Yeah. And yeah. What about brick and mortar? What do they need to know about getting online? You know, especially, I think sometimes older generations, too, who maybe yeah. have not been online in the past, and it's intimidating to make that leap. Yeah. What do you, what do you talk to them about? Um, I usually talk with them about, I, I look at their website before we have much conversation, just to understand where they are and mm -hmm. so on. But uh, often their website is maybe pretty old. Yeah. And uh, it's maybe more like a business card where they just have their information about con t telephone address and stuff like that. So um, I try to, um, to talk with them about what is important for them. Um, it's important if you are a local business that local businesses can find you. So it's very important to be in Google. Mm. So I will help them to be positioned on the first page of Google. Mm. So if you are a, a local, whatever, dentist, or if people write dentist and you are in uh, Dallas, then you want to be on page one. So is that the SEO? Is that, is yeah, it, or is yeah, it different from it, SEO? Uh, it's a little different because okay. it's also just about the data. The data Google has about your business needs to be absolutely correct. Ah. If there's some inconsistency within different of these, they call data aggregators, but then they hold the, the, the data that Google is asking, what data do you have, what do you have? They oh. have 52 or something like that. They look into like the yellow pages and other. If there's inconsistency, then you drop. Then mm -hmm. they think that you are not trustable or reliable because yeah. here it says you live in this address and here it says this one. So then you have to be consistent in all these data. And people don't know about this, not at all. So And they don't know where to look. So it's very simple to do, but you need to know that it has to be done. So yeah, and I, as you're saying that, my mind is just going, because <laughs> that's not, I don't want to spend my time doing that. No. I don't want, so that's why no. it's important to have somebody that does know yeah. how to do that. Yeah. And that's probably a big differentiator for people who stand out when they start to get that online traction. Yeah. And the most, what most people does, they, they are not on page one because there is only a place for 19 or 20 <laughs> yeah. URLs yeah. here on that page. So what they do is they buy Google Ads. Uh -huh. And then they come and say, we don't get anything out of our Google Ads. Ah. But that's the only way they can get on page one in Google. That's by paying. Uh -huh. So, And that is what we help them with. So just to be there in a, a you can say, a natural way yeah. and, uh, and spend their ad money in another place. Yeah. 